Hello, Gemini. Rambo Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you reaching out, hitting that old like button while you're thinking about it. If you haven't hit that subscription button, thanks for doing that right now. You know, it's a benefit for both you and me. I'll just let you know on an inside secret. When I, before the cameras go on, I'm setting my intentions about who I'm going to be reading for. Well, of course, I set my intentions for those that hit that like button regularly on my channel. For those that have hit that subscription button and definitely set my intentions for my members of Ramblin' Nation. You know, I'm not setting my intention to read for the entire world. No, I'm setting my intentions for those that have connected their energy with me. So it's beneficial to you if you're going to watch Old Ramblin' to go ahead and hit those buttons. Just saying. Thank you for it. And a big thank you, too, to all my Gemini friends that reached out and blessed me with donations. Many of you, very kind of you. You guys are quite the givers. You always have been. I appreciate them all, large or small. Gemini, if you've blessed me with a donation, thank you. And a big thank you to all my Jimmies that have reached out for private readings with me. And also purchased my uh, tarot decks and oracle decks. You guys keep me very busy. Thank you for all of that. And of course, a big thank you to all my members of Ramblin' Nation. Love you guys. Thank you for reaching out and connecting with me in a very powerful way. Of course, you get to see these videos before anybody else, many times up a week in advance, many times. I'm happy that I can do that for you. And also, uh, Ramblin' member, Na you know, Ramblin' Nation members. Um, you guys get first shot at personal readings with me too. If you want a reading with me, the best way to do it is hit that join button. You can normally find it on your computer if it isn't on your handheld. Uh, and uh, then send me that text that says, hey Mike, I'm a member of Ramblin' Nation. I would like a reading with you. You absolutely go on my list and I will absolutely contact you for a reading with me. Um, a quick shout out for several. I got many uh, YouTube tarot readers that have connected with me. Thank you. I love you all. I want to take a quick minute regularly on my videos and just shout out a, a handful of them that have joined me with Ramblin' Nation. Uh, the first one that I want to shout out is Royal Lion Tarot. I love you. You're absolutely amazing. You're funny. You make me laugh. You're informative. You're enlightening. I love it. Uh, keep them up. More, please. Give us more of those amazing videos. That's Royal Lion Tarot. And another uh, member that has connected with me is Gin TV Tarot. And the same about Gin TV. I think you're funny. I think you're entertaining. I think you're enlightening. My kind of readers. Uh, they make me feel good when I watch them. Uh, another one that has joined recently with me is Aquarius Rising Tarot. I wanted to give her a shout out. Looks like she's Took a little break for a while, but has come back and put up some uh, videos on YouTube. I liked what I saw. Keep them coming more, please. That is Aquarius Rising Tarot. Check out these readers. I, I, I think they're amazing. I enjoyed every one of their channels. All right. Oh, got the sun jumped out right here. Jim and I. I felt good from the minute I touched the button right here for you guys. Uh, oh, and my next Sunday fun day will be a live event in Burbank, California. Yes, we're going through with this. Yes, right in the middle of a TP shortage. We're going through with this. Yes, we are. And by the way, during the midst of this uh, TP shortage, airline tickets are extremely reasonable anymore. Yay. Yes, we're going through this, the 21st and the 22nd of March, Burbank, California, two-day event, Saturday and Sunday from noon till 8 o'clock at night. Me and a boatload of readers are going to be there, workshops, both Saturday and Sunday, got all kinds of stuff listed in my playlist about this event coming up. Check out my playlist, Burbank Meet and Greet, and if you want tickets, send a text to 386 Five eight five zero three eight zero, and send your full name, 
send your email address so we can send you the invoice and send your telephone number because we will be putting your ticket in a text back to your telephone right there. If you're buying tickets for a friend, we'll need their full name and their telephone number so they can get their own ticket on their own phone. You can come both days, come in and out, all kinds of fun stuff going on. Um, so we're going through with it, even though, well, I'm going to bring some TP and make sure there's some in our restrooms. Just saying, okay? So there's no panic, all right? All right. We're definitely going through this. All right, enough of that. Enough of all that. Let's play some tarot right here, huh? And tell a little love story for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Mm -hmm. A little look-see at love for my Gemini's, right? I feel good, too, man. And the sun jumped out. Beautiful stuff. And you know, you tell me in the comments if you see yourself in this story right here. You tell me if you see your friend. You tell me. If you see a friend in here that you don't want, you tell them to kick rocks. Anyway, hope you got your cup of coffee because I'm going to be here for a minute or your glass of wine. Let's go with this right here. Hey, Terry Love Team Gemini is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Gemini see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story. For Gemini's highest good. Here we go, Gemini. Cutting the deck. Let's see what the cards have to say today. And like I said, I'm going to be here for a minute. I'm going to give you a full spread. A full Celtic cross with the Tarot Illuminati. A full spread on top of that with the Witch's Tarot. Definitely a handful of this amazing Mystic Moon Oracle. A handful of the Romance Angels and definitely... Some major arcanas out of the star man. David Bowie is an overall. Here we go, Gemini. First card out. Boom, right here. Oh, Ace of Cups. I knew it. I knew look, I pulled out my I pulled out my two of cups shirt. Ace of Cups, the sun jumping out of the deck. Whoo! We're going to the party. Ace of Cups. It's always about a direct connect with the divine. That's what that agape love is anyway, huh? Grandpa, grandma, who's ever on the other side, your angels, your higher self, getting sweet on them, them getting sweet on you. Ace of Cups is definitely about self-love, loving yourself first, healing your heart, healing your mind. Ace of Cups is about love and all the possibilities thereof. And Ace of Cups can be about unspoken love being spoken right in the middle of your Celtic cross. Let's see what crosses over it. Oh, eight of swords, eight of swords. Somebody's all up in their head. Is this you, Gemini? Or is this your friend? Somebody's all up in their head. Maybe there's some unspoken love that needs to be spoken, huh? You know, because this is all about, you know, it's air energy. It's being all up in your head, eight swords. You know, she's not really trapped. She could get out of that anytime she wants. We all can see that. She could back up on one of those swords and cut those loose binds off, pull that blindfold off, get out of that little bitty miry clay right there and get back up to that high vibration castle that's up there. Not down there in that old miry clay. Yeah, somebody, one side or the other, need to go ahead and just let this Ace of Cups flow. Hmm. Here we go. Yeah, old Seven of Pentacles at the base of the spread. Hmm, that's that old Divine Timing card, huh? It is that card of being grateful and thankful for all the amazing things that are happening in your life, all of the lotuses that are unfolding, while we've been waiting for this one pinnacle down here, huh? Huh, Gemini? This one pinnacle down here to get some doggone grapes on it. Mm hmm Yeah. You know, because that's a pinnacle. That's some slow, slow movement right there. But it is about being grateful and thankful, you know, for the journey. Because somebody looks like they all up in their head about uh, making a move. Somebody's heart's beating out their chest, though, with that Ace of Cups right in the heartbeat of the Celtic Cross. The old divine timing card right there. 
Here we go. Oh, 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 the Princess of Love showing up here. Oh, oh, oh. In the recent past, somebody's little heart started going bitter, batter, bitter, batter. It's water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. How's our little fish in the cup? Our little glowy fish in the cup. Look at her, look at her hand on her chest right there. It's because her little heart's beating. Boom, da -da boom, da -da boom, boom, boom for the Gemini. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and this is about somebody having the beginnings of a spiritual awakening. Maybe they're, maybe they're all up in their head because this can be a card of apologies. It is definitely a card of communication. Somebody at least believing to step out and have some communication right here. But love, it's a love card. It's the new beginnings of fresh, fragile love. And it's about a spiritual awakening, too. The old divine timing and the ace of cups with the hand of the divine. I like it, man. It's nice. Five of wands on the top of the spread. Gemini. That's a, that's a, that's a little turn right there. Oh, five of wands, a little fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Five of wands, you know, that could be a little, uh, maybe there's some arguments or something going on in some of my Gemini's life, you know. Letting something go, possibly. I'm kind of feeling that. Because this is happening back here. There's some there's some heart throbbing going on over here. This ain't heart throbbing. This is this is the strife card, the tussle card, you know? Five of Wands. Five of Wands is a contrast card. It's a it contrast is our friend because contrast shows us what we don't want. So we can set our intentions on what we do want. This could be Gemini's energy right here with this Eight of Swords. You know, because eight can feel being trapped in a situation, but five of wands would show me that Gemini's uh, getting out of that situation right there because that shows us what we don't want so that we can manifest on what we do want. That ace of cups right there. Maybe the little fishy talking to a Gemini or vice versa. Hmm. So I always ask Source to play this out from a first perspective, but... It's definitely an air energy right there. It could be feeling trapped, and I see that five of wands. It's the old tussle card. Um, maybe, you know, because that five of wands can be about competition. Maybe maybe you're playing with somebody that's uh, it's got a lot of competition, huh? For, for you, Jim. Maybe. Maybe just saying, huh? I mean, it is tarot. But divine timing is trying to open up here, and the ace of cups is trying to birth here in Gemini's life. Let's see where this goes, Gemini. Let's see what's coming in. Four, four of swords. So if this resonates with you. There's that air energy again. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And this can be about taking a break from this right here. Taking a break from this right here. You know, this is my old warrior. He's been through the battle. The old sword fight right there. Come back after the battle, lay themselves down on a coffin in case they didn't survive that battle, and thank the divine, whoever that is, that they lived through that battle. Today our battles are more the head and the heart, hence the three swords over the head and the heart. And then that fourth sword right down there, that sword of clarity and truth. And the ace of swords jumped when I was shuffling before the camera came on too, about uh, communication, clarity, truth, and epiphany. Able to cut things out of your life that no longer serve you for your highest good. I really feel that there's a Gemini here that's setting themselves free from this Eight of Swords energy right here. Five of Wands. Because, well, there's a divine timing situation going on here. And there's people's hearts going boom, diddy, boom, diddy. Oh, there they are. Going boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Right here. This is taking a break. Spending time with Source. Taking a break from the battle right up here. I see it, man. I like it too, Jimmy. Do what's best for you. Wow. The Empress coming out. This is beautiful right here. How you would see yourself as the Empress. The Empress is all about new beginnings in abundance and love. 
Oh yeah, new beginnings coming in here for you. Definitely letting go of that old five of wands, whatever it is. Huh? Old seven of pentacles opening up here, man. Could be some communication. Talking with somebody. Talking with somebody. Sweet communication. The Empress right there. New beginnings and abundance in love. Uh, it's a major arcana. This is Libra. Taurus. I also connect Aries with that myself. May mean something to you, may not. Who doesn't love that you see yourself as the Empress? Hmm? She's seated in her throne. She doesn't get up and chase anybody or anything. She's the law of attraction to attract to her love and abundance of the highest degree. I love it, man. I see a change here for Gemini. Oh, and there it is. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles coming out, male or female. This is the catch. It crosses over top of the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Swords. It's a pinnacle. Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And it's the catch. Yeah, my Gemini could have their eye on the catch. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't love the Queen of Pentacles, man? She eats right, takes care of herself. She has that golden pair of spirituality in her hand. She lives in a very magical world. She's fun. There's a little pan in her world. There's a little devil over there. That's because she is fun. This is wifey. This is mommy. There's no gender here for me. This is this is hubby. It's the catch. They got the Midas touch. They're sitting on that golden coin right there. Well, they know how to manifest financial security and comfort. That's for sure. They know how to keep the lights on, to say the least. This is the catch, man. You know, they sell real estate. They sell yachts on the weekends. They cook cuisine meals. They know how to keep the house right. The children obey them. And the Queen of Pentacles, it's the catch, male or female. Gemini got your eye on somebody, don't you? Gonna let all that turmoil go. And, and like I said, contrast is our friend because it shows us what we don't want. So we can manifest what we do want. There's a catch right there, man. Whatever zodiac they are. There's a new beginnings and abundance and love right there, man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Three of Wands coming out. Had your eye on it for a while. <laughs> Had your eye on it for a while. You know, it's fire energy again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's got our character right there. He's got... He's got his eyes on those ships, all five of them. Those are all his ships, by the way. And he is manifesting them using law of attraction to the best of his ability to get these ships to dock up at his dock, at his port. Mm -hmm. Putting all of his heart, his soul, his strength into it. Three of Wands is that card. Goes with the Divine Timing card goes with the spiritual awakening it says that all of the divine is with you your grandpa your grandma who's ever on the other side your angels your higher self all helping you to get your ships to dock up your ships whoever this is right here this is nice man oh and the king of love coming out Wow. The king of love. The king of cups crowning the spread. Hey, if this is all resonating with you and you're wondering about this person right here, you know, the one that's making your heart go boom, bitty, boom, bitty, boom, boom, boom. Hmm? The one where the little fishy in the cups probably whispering in your ear. Go ahead and reach out, Gemini. Yeah, that person right there. The old king of cups, the king of love. Also showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, you know, the catch. This tells me that this person loves you very deeply. They may be hiding it from you a little bit because the King of Cups only has one foot in the ocean of emotion. And uh, their throne is definitely up out of the ocean of emotion. But this is, you know, somebody that has great potential to be an amazing partner, has the potential to be 
quite spiritual. Their hands are in the namaste position. It's the king of love. There is deep, deep, deep love here. <laughs> well, we're just going to cut right to the quick off the bottom of the deck. I got the hair fan showing up right here. The hair fan, the major arcana, major life force card. Hair fan's definitely about being streetwise and spiritual at the same time. Hair fan's definitely about being the student and the teacher at the same time. Hierophant's definitely about all the wisdom that comes into your life because of a journey like this. Hierophant's definitely about a uh, committed relationship, maybe one you signed up for in the 5D before you come here to play in the 3D. Hierophant's also about committed relationships, you know, the ones that you learn those life lessons from. I got the death card coming in after that. Major Arcana's coming off of the bottom of the deck. These are the ones old Ramblin pays attention to. This is a death cycle. This may be the ending of a committed relationship. One that's been upside down for a while. And the birth and renewal of something very special the Ace of Cups right here with the Star card, three major arcana. Three major arcana, you know. It's about great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. It's a card of healing. It's Aquarius, may mean something to you. This is Aquarius, this is Scorpio, this is Taurus. You don't get the star card unless you've been through hell fire. Here comes the healing, spending time with source. I don't want the battle no more. I'm going to cut this shit out of my life. I want the catch. I feel the strong love and I feel that they feel it for me as well. It's right here, man. All this cup energy. New beginnings in abundance and love. Another major arcana. Death cycle. Death, birth, and resurrection. Very powerful spread for Gemini. With every ending, there's a new beginning. Many of these soulmate journeys, they have a time limit. There's a contract, all that shit. When the time's up, time's up. Sometimes somebody learns the lesson first, and then after after the separation, the other person may learn the life lessons that they need to learn, but it is what it is, because there's something out here, man. Something special for a Gemini. This is our golden angelic being with the two cups. One pouring in the water, one pouring in the land. These are about some divines that probably been in separation for a season source working right here be you know them or be you don't know them huh lots of these new divines are meeting up every day a lot of them are are uh releasing karmic cycles that they've been in coming into union it's time for us to come into union oh look at the bottom of the deck it just keeps on keeping on nine of cups wish fulfillment coming in here for many of my gemini's happy happy joy joy coming in that beats the hell out of five of wands Hey, 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 there's that nine cups and there's that ten cup right there. Hey, 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 hey. No wonder that little fishy's talking. Pick up the fishy phone, whoever this is for, because there's judgment here happening. Gabriel flying around, blowing the horn, causing awakenings in people. About the love or it's coming up out the grave. Regardless if you've known this person or not. It's about Gemini that's letting something go. So that something very, very special can come into their life. It's amazing, man. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Can be a little painful and a little scary, but... You know, like I said, for about the eighth time, huh? 
this card shows us what we don't want so that we can set our intentions on what we do want. Right there. And many of you may know this person right here. There may be some apologies and all that. We know. We know. We know. We know. Let's love on ourselves and don't be hard on ourselves. Yeah, man. Could very well be Gemini moving. You know, I'm just going to show you the cards. That's the Knight of Swords, huh? That's my Gemini. Moving towards the Wheel of Fortune. Old karmic cycles ending and new cycles beginning. The wheel spinning in an upward direction for Gemini. Winner, winner, chicken dinner coming in here for you. It's nice that this is resonating with you. Well, I'll source to uh, a passionate new beginning, passionate communication. Maybe somebody that's, you know, these, these two may have been watching each other for a while. And that's the Princess of Swords. You know, that's the Princess of Swords. And this is coming out of the choppy waters. Learned a shitload of life lessons heading over to Paradise Island over there. What's on Paradise Island? The star. The star, the Ace of Cups. You know, there has to be this kind of ending, though, for this kind of star to come in. Because you don't get the star unless you've been through Hellfire. Just saying. Let's see what the Witch's Tarot has to say to this right here. These are nice, man. These are nice. I see a whole story right here. I could continue to go on, but I want to play with the Witch's Tarot. Because this is uh, about somebody making a move. If it ain't you, then it's your partner. We all know how Tarot works right here, huh? Somebody's going to make a move here. Somebody's leaving a karmic situation. Whatever we want to call it. That old contract is up right there. There's healing and separation. New beginnings here. And deep, deep love between these two with the King of Cups and the Star. Yeah, man. And the Wheel. Those are two destiny cards. And, and Gabriel flying around. So here we go. What is the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Swords about? From a Gemini right here. That's the uh, 15, the devil, right there. That's Capricorn, may mean something to you, may not. But see, absolutely, somebody is releasing themselves from self-imposed bondage. That's what the devil's about. Hurrah. Seven of Pentacles, divine timing on all of that. So they can go get their Ace of Cups, man. That's Seven of Pentacles right here for Gemini. Time has come, huh? Oh, Nine of Swords, man. Nine of Swords. Oh, Sleepless Nights. The old woulda's, the coulda's, the shoulda's. Somebody here, man, they realize that they with the wrong person. Be it Gemini or be it your friend. I don't know right now. A lot of people look at these. It's playing out one way or the other, Gemini. You're going to end up with your star right here, from what I can see in the sun and the wheel of fortune, huh? My little prince is a cups right here. That's communication. Sweet communication. New fragile love beginning. What What is this about right here? Oh, and the queen of love. Look at this right here. The queen of love, the king of love are on this spread. This is an empath. The one with psychic abilities, my dreamer, my healer. This is somebody that's learning to be like them. This is her daughter. She's learning to be like the queen of love. So it's either you or your friend. Somebody's growing up. So these two can come play together now. This is beautiful shit, man. This is nice. Five of Wands, the old contrast card. What's that about? What's that about for Gemini? <laughs> Just doesn't stop, Gemini. Ace of Cups crowning your spread right here. Shows us what we don't want. So that we can set our intentions on what we do want. The old Ace of Cups, a divine love. The king and the queen of love, ace of cups twice. Somebody releasing themselves from the devil, which can talk about a karmic relationship. The star card can talk about soulmate, twin flame, life partners, especially with the wheel of fortune as well. And the new beginnings of the empress. 
Why is Four of Swords here on this spread? The Gemini. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful, Gemini. Happy for you. Here we go. Four of Swords. Why is it here? Oh. Because <laughs> somebody got it going on. This is my independent, self-assured, confident business person right here. And they are right there, Gemini. Vice versa, right? I'm just gonna play it out from Gemini. Go get the one that this is. This is the, if this is you, Gemini. Go get this person right here. That Nine of Pentacles, my independent, self-assured, confident business person. They are single. In case you're wondering, could be wondering if they're single or not. This person's single. They're single because they choose to be. They're single generally because they're waiting for the right one to show up. Is that you? Anyway, who's ever looking at this, man? Uh, you know, because that's the tenth pinnacle. Ten pinnacles. Ten pinnacles. Ten cups. It's a beautiful love story. A star. The Wheel of Fortune. But there is a death cycle, isn't there? I see it. The Empress. Why is the Empress here? Thank you, love team. Now the old Five of Cups, the old River of Tears. Let's not sit there, man. Let's not sit there. And focus on the spilled cups if there's been some spilled cups because I'm telling you, man, this story talks with me about a committed relationship that's coming to an end so that a divine relationship can be birthed. Let's not sit there by the river of tears. Let's pick up these two cups. Could be you. You know who they are. Just reading cards, man. Go get your two cups. Go get your new beginning. Go get your empress right here, male or female. Go get them. Chris sitting by the old river of tears. If this is you, man, this situation ain't getting no better over here. That death cycle, that, that's a dead dog, man. That's a dead dog, man. Let the metamorphosis happen within you. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, wow, man. Queen of Pentacles. Again, and the Empress. Oh my, oh, my God, man. This is the catch right here. This is the great nurturer, male or female. If you know who I'm talking about right here, man, which many of you do, go get them, man. This is the one. This is the one. You know it right there. Three of wands. Three of wands, man. This is all source trying to put this together too, man. Why is three of wands here for Gemini? Because the sun's trying to shine in, man. I told you the sun had to show up here. Look at this, man. The wheel, the star, the sun. Wow. But you're going to go through this right here. Don't sit there. Go get your sunshine. You know who they are. It sits on the three of wands. King of love. Why is king of love on this spread? King of cups. Why is he here for Gemini? Thank you, love team. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. That's interesting, ain't it? Seven of Swords can be about... You know, there may have been some problems. And many times there is problems with these Divine Ones right here. Seven of Swords is a little sneaky. Somebody may have been sneaky in the past and all of that. Have a remorse for it. More on the Seven of Swords. What's Seven of Swords here? 
on Five of Pentacles. Uh, the old king of love right here may have felt left out in the cold for a while. You may be concerned if this is ministering to you or talking to you about making the approach. You may be concerned that um, they may be a little bitter. I don't think so, though. I, I don't think so. Five of Pentacles, somebody's felt left out in the cold uh, because somebody felt they weren't treated right in the past and all that. I don't want to dig too much in that, but I want one more. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Thank you. Ten of Pentacles, all that can be healed. This is, this is all this fear holding people back from coming it together. It's really what I see right here. Throw fear out the back door, huh? That's what we're doing. We're throwing fear out the back door. We're going to go have our party regardless if there's a TP shortage or not. <laughs> Throw fear out the back door. Go get your Ten of Pentacles right here. This is a quintessential universal dream. The little white picket fence and the big pink house. A loving couple, the wisdom of the years. Yeah, there's been some shit that went on between these two. Huh. There was. I see it. Let the past be in the past. Look, here's my emperor. And the empress. Different emperor, huh? With the babies. Family emperor. The ace of cups right there. Yeah, man. The emperor and the empress. Three of cups. Reunion, celebration, all that, man. It's beautiful. So somebody needs to move. Somebody's going to move. Somebody's been a little fearful about moving. Somebody's letting something go so that they can move. Wow, what a reading. But ultimately, the outcome is these two playing together for a very long time. Probably after being in separation for a season. Let's let the sun shine. Let the star shine. If you need to let something go, let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Woo! Heavy read, man. Gemini. Fear. Let's get out of that. If this is for you, go get your person right there. Because look right here, I'm telling you, it's twin flame stuff. This is a twin flame story. Thank you, Source. That's all about commitment coming together between these two. Thank you, Source. Bust through the fear. Th make this happen. These unions are destined to come together, and this is a Gemini that's busting through all the fear. They're letting a karmic relationship go. They're going to go get their twin flame, regardless of whatever happened in the past, because these two are tired of five of pentacles. They're tired of being left out in the cold from each other. Love card on this, please. Oh, of course, reconciliation comes out. Of course it did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trust. Look, man, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Somebody's going to have to have faith. It's definitely a past life lover, huh? Twin flames right here. Who knows how many times. Look, forgiving and learning came out. It's huge with twin flames. Not only forgiving yourself, but forgiving them, not only for this lifetime, but for past lifetimes as well. Thank you, Source, for putting this all together for me right here. It's nice. Go get your divine right here, Jimmy Jam, if this is resonating with you. Woo! And if this is the flip, then get ready, because they're coming for you, Jimmy Jam. Here we go, Major Arcana on this. Yeah, Sagittarius, Temperance came out. Michael, the Archangel, wants to come and play with this spread right here. The Great Alchemist. Uh, the one that blends the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine. Definitely talks about all the cooperative components coming together for you. Being at the right place at the right time. Staying balanced so that the sun can shine. Look at this story. Hoorah! Two suns right there coming into one. Who can see both of my divines right here? I can see them. 
Wow. What a beautiful story of union. Because this is a, this is a card of divine reunion. Gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. Let it go and go get them. Gemini. Amazing. I knew it was. When I hit that button, I'm happy for you. Come see me in Burbank if you would like. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.